Today we're going to go over a photogrammetry hack. Uh, right here what I've got is a photogrammetry asset that I have turned into a subtractive mesh and I'm using ZBrush's live booleans to basically cut out of any other object. So let's get into it. So here is the imported photogrammetry. Uh, it's got a texture I've already applied to it. Uh, one thing you want to make sure you do is once you've imported your texture in, uh, you need to select it under the texture palette and then flip it vertically. You can then go down and apply it under texture map. Uh, now one thing that we have to do here when using booleans is we need to go ahead and convert this over to polypaint because boolean operations uh, don't play nice with textures or UV coordinates. So turn on your MRGB, then polypaint from texture. And now this is baked down into vertex colors. So from here, what we're going to do is prepare the mesh. And on this one, I'm going to go ahead and cut off the top. So I'm going to select what I want to keep, Control W to polygroup it, then Control Shift click. That will hide everything but that polygroup. And then go under Geometry, Modify Topology, Delete Hidden. And actually, you know what? I'm going to make this just a little bit smaller. Control W, Control Shift Click, and Delete Hidden. All right, so now that's my mesh that I'm going to work with. Go under Display Properties, Flip. Oh, yeah, I forgot about those little guys. There we go. Uh, now what I want to do is go to masking and we're going to mask by feature border. Control click to invert that and then W to bring up your move gizmo and then we're just going to pull this up here. If I hold alt and then drag here I can re reposition the gizmo and then I can flatten this out. Q to get out of gizmo and then deselect everything, uh, control drag. And then what we want to do is go to uh, back to geo and close holes because your booleans need to have um, a closed mesh to work. And one thing that's kind of lame about this is these high poly objects doing a lot of these operations can take a lot of time. The booleans and close holes, sometimes it's time to go get a cup of coffee while this works. So I will skip ahead in the video. Okay, so now that we've got our mesh prepared here, um, what we're going to do is append and throw a cube on there. We're going to move that up to the top. And we're going to go ahead and just scale this a little bit. Uh, if Live Boolean wasn't uh, checked, go ahead and click that there. And then you're going to turn this to subtractive by clicking on this little guy right here. And now what we can do is start working with moving this around and finding the spot that we want. Make sure you select the actual cutter mesh. Now again, working with these high poly objects can be very cumbersome. So one thing that we're going to do is once you've got one in a position where you want it, we're going to go ahead and do make boolean mesh now instead of the other way that I was doing it is I would hold control and click and drag which would make a duplicate and then I would move it around I would just keep doing that until I had everything where I wanted it and at the end I would hit make boolean which would take a very very long time to do so now that is complete so what you do is append and you're gonna select the last one in the list that's gonna put it at the bottom so select that move it up and you can 
turn off visibility of the old box. Select the cutter mesh again. And now you can turn it around. Move it to the other side. And then we'll do the process again. Make Boolean mesh. Append. Get the last one. Move it up top. Turn off visibility. Select the cutter mesh. mesh again. Okay, append. Rinse and repeat. That's good enough for this demonstration. We'll go ahead and make one more Boolean mesh, and then I'm going to show you how to soften the edges a little bit. OK, now that it's complete, now we're going to actually select the new Boolean mesh. And what we're going to do here is go down, and just for a moment, we're going to turn off Colorize and turn on Polygroups. So each one of our cuts is a different polygroup. So now what we can do is go to masking, and we're going to mask by groups. And then we'll grow that mask. Actually, let's see. I'm going to mask the bottom as well and the top there. OK, now we're going to grow a couple times. Uh, control click to invert that and then under uh, where is it deformation we're going to do actually polish by crisp edges and check that little circle there to make it a little stronger and this will polish those edges turn off polygroups So now it's a lot nicer, and we can just turn on our polypane again, and it's there. Of course, I would do the, the full object on these other sides as well, uh, so you wouldn't have any of that weirdness. But that is essentially the process. And here is a complete one. That's it. Have fun.